And the vote counting continues today, and it could keep going for several more days as battleground states process a record amount of voting. Now, Oregon Governor Kate Brown extending her executive order, meantime, continuing her law enforcement plan to keep the peace in Portland during the election cycle. This announcement comes as more people are expected to demonstrate this afternoon throughout the Portland metro area. Elise Haas joins us live from northwest Portland with what we may be able to expect. Elise. Ken Jenny, so there are two demonstrations that are expected to happen this afternoon in Portland proper. One of them being here in the North Park blocks, and that rallying cry is about being against authoritarianism. Then the other one demonstration that's happening on the other side of the river um, in Southeast Portland at Revolution Hall is a march called Defend Democracy that is focused on counting every single ballot. That is the same theme for the rally that's happening in Beaverton later this afternoon afternoon also focused on counting every vote. Now all of these demonstrations that are being promoted today are being promoted as non-violent events. So we reached out to the governor's unified law enforcement command to find out what their plans are moving forward. And we heard from we heard from the sheriff and he released the following statement saying unified command will continue to monitor any events today and bring public safety information to the press and community via our twitter accounts now as the country continues to wait for national election results governor kate brown extended her executive order all the way until friday keeping law enforcement in multnomah county working hand in hand with state resources like osp and the national guard otherwise the order would have expired at 5 o'clock this evening. Governor Brown said in a statement in part, all Oregonians have the right to free expression and peaceful assembly, but political violence, intimidation, and property destruction will not be tolerated. And as I reported this morning, the demonstrations that happened last night on election night were rather calm and uneventful. But of course, moving forward, we'll be following all of the events that happened today. We have news crews that are stationed all the way throughout Portland. So stay with us as we continue to follow these election results and the unrest here here in the Portland area. Again, those demonstrations are going to be starting within the next few hours. Live in Northwest Portland, Elise Haas, Quinn 6 News. Thank you, Elise.